What's up, everybody? We're Side After Dark out of Brooklyn, New York, your new favorite band. I'm Dan Berg. I'm Steve Graffiti. Check out our music wherever you listen to music. And check out us reacting to Screams Everlasting by Chantel McGregor. This was selected by our patron, Paul Fenwick. Shout out to you, Paul. We appreciate you. If y'all don't know, all of our reactions are chosen by our patrons on Patreon. So go over there, check it out, tell us what to react to, and thumbs up if you like this video. This is a song called Screams Everlasting. <laughs> Now that you're gone, still the heart stays, and it's all done. I'm still. Living in a daze It's over now I'm not gonna be second best And how could I know Why you left me in such a mess All the tears I've cried Hard to trust someone Even though I've tried Just look what I've become I won't bleed for you Now I know your truth I won't Someday my wounds will heal Screams everlasting Turn into my lullaby Left with no warning no chance to say goodbye It never ends I can't have my face no more And I'm so broken Someday I'll be stronger All the tears I've cried to trust someone Even though I've tried Just look what I've become I won't bleed for you Now I know your truth I won't Someday my wounds will
tell us who these people are. I've never heard of this band. Uh, that guitar was everlastingly screaming for sure. I mean, yeah, the guitar was definitely the best part of this, right? I mean, the whole thing was great. I mean, I loved, you know, she had a great voice, uh-huh. and I loved the melody at the beginning. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little bored at the at the beginning when yeah. it was just the chords. Yeah, I wanted more. I wanted we, more, and that's when, yeah. when when they came in, I was like, oh, this is exactly what I needed, because yeah. I was ready for it, because I saw, obviously, there's a drummer there, obviously, there's a bass player there, they're gonna <laughs> drop it at some point. <laughs> Imagine if they're like, no. I, it, you know, whatever, they, that's, that would have been their choice, <laughs> but I think they made the right choice, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking, um, I I don't think there's a modern guitarist now that has, like, really touched my spirit the way, like, she touched it playing this guitar right now. Like, usually that that feeling is reserved for all those wonderful sounds of the 70s. <laughs> like, you know? The sounds of the 70s. <laughs> by Hansel McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, what a soulful experience. Like, and then it's like, you didn't hear, but when she started doing her solo, I was like, she's not Dave anymore. Like, I heard that part. Okay, yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, then that that's the difference. You know, the beginning was like very um, Foo Fighters y. Yeah, yeah. And very yeah. The the sound that we're kind of used to, like in the bars and stuff like that. But she really made it her own when she soloed mm-hmm. like crazy in a sundress and did a twirl. Yeah, okay? she kept it really fat. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, I agree that that is really when where the song kicked in because, like I was saying, like I wasn't. You know, I liked the part of the beginning, but yeah. I was kind of like, I kind of see where this is going. It, it wasn't really taking any twists or turns. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, I see the vibe they're going for, and they're, they're hitting it. Mm-hmm. But then as soon as she came with the solo, I'm like, this is this is some real tasty guitar right mm-hmm. here. And this this is what made it makes it different yeah. from yeah. other things that I've heard, especially considering that it's only three people. This is power trio. Yeah. Um, so being able to have it sound like that with only three people is always a great compliment. Mm-hmm. And obviously the bass player and the drummer were holding it down as well. Definitely. But when you sing like that and you play the guitar and you solo like that, obviously we're going to focus mostly on you. <laughs> yes, yes. But yeah, that was great. Um, it really was. Um, I I loved everything about it. I just thought that solo was so, so full. So full solo. Yeah. I thought that was cool. I mean, the sound was amazing. And we. I want to hear more from her. Like, I would love to hear what else she does. When was this? I don't see any numbers here. I don't know what year this was. I don't know, but some of you might know. Mm-hmm. So definitely tell us in the comments, like, subscribe, and all of that. Um, but yeah, and then also like, is this her solo? Is is she Chantel McGregor? Chantel, how do you say it? Chantal. Chantal. No, Chantel <laughs> McGregor, or is the band that name? Right. Because it could be either way. Exactly. You know what I mean? Chantel. So, Ch- Chantel Meg- McGregor. Mer- <laughs> McGregor. Um, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm very curious about this. So is is this technically just her solo? Yeah, yeah. And this is one of those like deep cuts. Like I, I'm, I was thinking about the caption. Like what I'm gonna make the caption on our video for this is gonna be like, you gotta hear this guitar. Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you do. Yeah. But you guys already know that because you saw it. Um, yeah. So tell us more about this artist. Again, I'm. I want to say now, I, just because it says written and performed. Mm-hmm. I think it's just her. I yeah. think it's technically just her, and then she has the musicians with her. Correct. But definitely let us know if we're wrong. Um, I definitely want to hear more about this uh-huh. this person, this band, whatever the correct mm-hmm. terminology is. Mm-hmm. Uh, so definitely fill us in. <laughs> we appreciate it. We appreciate Paul. We appreciate your suggestions. You're always coming with the good stuff. Um, yeah. Shout out to everybody on Patreon for helping to make these videos possible. Shout out to everyone watching on YouTube. We're Side After Dark. We'll see you soon.